Hola! Welcome to one more video of my channel, Mia Esmeriz Academy. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Mia and I'm a qualified Portuguese teacher teaching online and on site for more than 10 years. So I hope you enjoy this channel. If you do, leave me a like and subscribe so you can get more videos about Portugal and everything Portuguese. In today's video, I'm gonna tackle a subject that comes up very, very often. I'm gonna tell you if it's a good idea for you to learn European Portuguese with Duolingo or not and I'm also gonna give you more resources that you can find online to learn European Portuguese both uh, for free and also paid resources so come with me and stay with me to the end uh, so you find out all about this So, as I said, many students come to me and ask me, is it a good idea to learn European Portuguese in Duolingo? Well, as you know, Portuguese has a lot of different variants of the language. So you have the Portuguese spoken in Portugal that many people uh, name as European Portuguese. That's the variant, variant I teach. And then you have Brazilian Portuguese spoken in Brazil. You also have Portuguese spoken in Angola, in Mozambique, in Cape Verde, and in many, many other places. So Portuguese is a very... Uh, widely spoken language and the variations of the language are a little bit different and this is where I come to uh, my answers. So Duolingo is okay if you are just at the beginning uh, and if you just want to learn Portuguese in general, you're not choosing a specific variant of the language. But if you're learning European Portuguese, I would steer away from it. Why? Because actually the, um, the, the variation they are teaching in Duolingo is not European Portuguese, but Brazilian Portuguese. So if you're learning Brazilian Portuguese, Duolingo can be a really good tool for you. But if you're not, if you're uh, trying to learn any of the other variants of Portuguese, I would steer away from it. Um, although Portuguese uh, people can understand Brazilian people and vice versa, the variants of the language are slightly different in terms of grammar, in terms of vocabulary and so on. So if you want to know more about the differences between European Portuguese and Brazilian Portuguese, I will link a post below where you can find all about it. So to sum up, if you're just starting out and you want to get a feel of Portuguese, it's okay to use Duolingo. Um, especially if you can't, if you couldn't find anything else, it's better to start somewhere than not start at all. So don't panic if you have been using Duolingo, it still can help you. As I said, the languages are similar, they just have some differences that you must be aware of. Um, but yeah, so if now you found out that Duolingo is actually not European Portuguese, but Brazilian Portuguese, then uh, you might want to leave Duolingo aside if you're serious about learning European Portuguese or any of the other variants. But as since I'm a specialist in European Portuguese, don't worry, I'm gonna give you some alternatives to Duolingo. So the first alternative I want to give you are those two apps, are these two apps, Memrise and Drops. So both these apps are quite similar in terms of, um, you know, functionalities and in terms of the um, structure. They're very similar to Duolingo. So if you like these kind of interactive act, uh, apps uh, where you follow along on your own, um, you don't have anyone to guide you, but anyways, the app will guide you somehow. If you like this, uh, if you like this kind of studying, then you might want to check out Drops and Memrise because they do have European Portuguese. I will also link them below for you. On the other hand, if you want a course that has someone guiding you from beginning to end, you could try to, to take a look at my online courses. These courses are made for you. They are entirely 100% European Portuguese and you can uh, always contact me for support and I'm always there from beginning to end as I said. If you want to try it out before actually 
uh, you know, before actually committing to a paid version of my courses, you can try my Kickstarter course. I will also link it below. It's 100% free and it's an amazing way to start. So this is a free way for you to start from the beginning with European Portuguese. And another uh, way you have to have somehow a free class is by joining my webinar. I will also link it below and I'm going to teach you how to become fluent in Portuguese within six months in European Portuguese uh, and I'm going to give you all the techniques and all the tricks that I've been using with a lot a lot of students over the years and I've been that I've been perfecting so you can become fluent and you can speak read, listen, you know, and understand uh, Portuguese without any troubles. So I'm gonna uh, link all my courses below, but these two are for free and then I have the paid versions. I have the European Portuguese Master Course, which will teach you the grammar, vocabulary, uh, pronunciation, everything you need and it's gonna take you from a A1 level, which is the beginner's level, to the B2 level, which is an upper intermediate level. I also have the European Portuguese Speech Course, which tackles pronunciation and will tell you how to form, how to put your mouth and your tongue in order to form those sounds and to produce those sounds that are so difficult in Portuguese that maybe you don't even have in your own language. And I'm going to also analyze uh, native speakers' real speech with you so you can understand all the changes that we make when we speak quickly, right? Because no one is speaking like this, right? So I'm going to teach you that as well. And also I have story time, interactive stories in Portuguese, and this will help you learn Portuguese in a more natural way. And it's an excellent addition to the other courses, or you can even do it on its own. It's really going to train your, he your hearing. You're going to be able to uh, then understand Portuguese much better and answer people much better. And it's like it's based on Portuguese stories written by me and you will be asked to interact with these stories through questions and answers. You're going to actually be asked to answer questions and yeah, this is going to create new pathways in your brain that will help you become fluent in Portuguese much, much faster. But First of all, I would advise you to check my two, two free resources, the Kickstarter uh, course and especially the webinar that I have prepared for you and it's down below. So let me know where you are from and whether or not you've been learning with Duolingo and if this is news for you that Duolingo is only teaching Brazilian Portuguese. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions about the courses I told you or the apps or anything else. I'm here always to help you. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and that has been helpful for you. Uh, please leave me a like and subscribe to my channel. That helps me a lot to be able to continue creating content like this for you about Portugal and Portuguese. And also don't forget to hit the notification bell. Uh, to receive more videos like this once they come out. I really, really appreciate you being here and listening to me and I'll see you in the next video. Beijinhos! Bye!